بھرنا ہے تو joined by Daniel Isaac and Ritika Singh, our experts on the show. Daniel, the excitement of today is about the main event of today. UK ke Michael Page will fight with Egypt's Ramdan Mohammed. Se. You both have power and skill. What's your take on that? Michael W. Page is one of the most exciting fighters in all of mixed martial arts today. And with all of those fancy kicks that MVP keeps throwing, I think I, I have some serious competition at the Superfight League today. But Ramdan Mohammed is also one of the most aggressive and passionate fighters coming in from Egypt. If this guy has heart, he has heart to win a fight. And we all know that the Egyptian fighters come to put on a big fight. This definitely has fight of the night written all over it. Well, that definitely is the big one. Here there is a lot of aggression, hai, passion, hai, but there's also another fight that we're all looking forward to. The ladies' bout, which is Manjeet versus Mona. And we have the lady expert here with us. So uh, what do you think, uh, Ritika? Manjeet Kolekar versus Mona is a fight in the female flyweight category, which is my own weight class. So I'm very excited for this fight. And this fight is in India and Egypt. So for this fight, I can't wait for this fight. Let's get started. Now, don't be so excited that you leave your commentating table and you're in the zone. No. Like, hold on for your chance there. Yeah, sure. A uh, lot of excitement coming up tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have an exciting night ahead of us. But for now, time for a short break. We return with the opening bout of the evening, which is Mumbai's Alam Idrisi fighting Merak Kapil Kumar. Stay tuned for that one. Welcome back to Pearl Super Fight League 15. First of all, a reminder, if you prefer to watch this show in Hindi, then please Star Sports 2. And if English is your preference, then please tune into Star Sports. Well, time now for the first bout of this evening, which is Alam Idrisi versus Kapil Kumar. As the official matchmaker, um, Dana, what was so interesting about this matchup for you? Well, uh, the, the first time that uh, that uh, Alam took his bout at, uh, at Pearl Super Fight League, 
he was uh, welcomed into the ozone by a really tough contender by, in Manoj Chauhan. Manoj Chauhan beat him in the first round, but Manoj Chauhan went ahead to become a title contender. So there's definitely something in the, in the making in that bout. Because if Alam Idrisi lost to a title contender, he definitely deserves another shot at Pearl Super Fight League. So here he is today, and he's, he has a chance against Kapil Kumar, a national gold medalist in Wushu. Well, the bantam weight division mein dono hi fighters apna metal proof karne ko taiyar hai. Uh, Ritika, very quickly talking uh, uh, to you about the fight that we have now. Dono ke backgrounds bahut alag hai. Ek wushu, ek wushu se hai, ek kickboxer hai. So, aapko lagta hai ki aaj hume yaha pe ek all-rounded MMA fight dekhne ko milegi? Ji, main Aaron, Aaron ke saath training kar chuki hu Nasik ke fitness camp mein. Aur mainne wahan pe dekha ki wo grappling pe kafi mehnat kar rahe the. To mere hisab se yaha par I think thodi bal grappling dekhne milegi humko kyunki Kapil ke slams बहुत ही ज्यादा जोरदार हैं। तो आई थिंक उसका जवाब आलम ग्रैपलिंग करके देंगे आज वेल ये तो हुए रितिका और डैन के व्यूज अगर आप भी अपने व्यूज हमारे साथ शेयर करना चाहते हैं देन प्लीज डू फॉलो अस ऑन ट्विटर और हैंडल इज एट द फाइट लीग वी आर ईगरली वेटिंग फॉर योर रिस्पॉन्सिस योर फीडबैक डू शेयर इट एंड बी अ पार्ट ऑफ पर्ल सुपर फाइट लीग हियर All right, time now for our first bout. देखते हैं कि अक्षय कुमार की फाइटिंग के फैन कपिल कुमार जिन्होंने ये दावा किया है कि वो अपने अपोनेंट को पहले ही राउंड में हरा देंगे क्या वो ऐसा कर पाएंगे या नहीं Over to Keith in the ozone. शुक्रिया सुप्रिया आप सभी लोगों का स्वागत है इन टू दोन द फर्स्ट बाउट स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एंट्री फिफ्टी नाइन किलोज ऑफ प्योर अग्रेशन वेलकम टू दोन Kapil Kumar making his way to pearls sfl 15 for our bite of the evening at the mountain dew prep point dar ke aage jeet hai mera naam kapil kumar hai main meerut ka rehne wala hu pichle 4 saal se martial art ka game join kiya hai maine मेरे जो पिताजी हैं वो बोलते हैं कि तू काम नहीं करता है सुबह सामी जी के चक्कर में रहता है मेरी मम्मी सबसे ज़्यादा सपोर्ट करती है इसी वजह से ना मैं ये मार्शल आर्ट कर पा रहा हूँ ऐसे फल में मैं अब से छः महीने पहले जुड़ा था मुझे ये प्लेटफॉर्म बहुत अच्छा लगा है क्योंकि इसमें जो प्लेयर को जित मिलनी चाहिए वो मिलती है हाँ भाई अब नहीं छोड़ूंगा तुझे अब देखना देसी छोरे का कमाल उठा उठा के मारूँगा तुझे तू चाहे कितने ही बतले ना मुझसे नहीं छोड़ूंगा तुझे and the man today his opponent a man ready for resurrection welcome to the ozone alam Alam Idrisi has made his way to the Mountain Dew prep point dar ke aage jeet hai
मेरा नाम मोहम्मद आलम इदरीसी है फाइट जो है मैं बचपन से ही खेलता आ रहा हूँ मार्शल आर्ट्स मैंने सीखी है टाइकांडो में ब्लैक बेल्ट हूँ एजुकेशन का जो है मेरा एट तक का है और मैंने उसके आगे पढ़ा नहीं क्योंकि मेरा बैकग्राउंड मतलब थोड़ा वीक था बस मैं लगा रहा इसमें कि बस ये उम्मीद में कि एक ना एक दिन तो मतलब मार्शल आर्ट्स मतलब ग्रो होगा आगे तक जाऊंगा मैं जहाँ जब तक मतलब मार्शल आर्ट्स का मतलब लाइन है तो उस एज तक मैं खेलूँगा आ रहा हूँ मैं बच के रहना इस बार तेरी हड्डी पसली एक कर दूँगा Welcome to Pearl's SFL 15. I'm joined by my co-commentator and the CEO of the SFL. <laughs> Pearl's SFL 15 में आप सभी लोगों का हार्दिक स्वागत है ओज़ोन में. And fighting out of the blue corner, his style wushu, and his weight, fifty-seven point one kilograms. Representing Mirat, put your hands together for Kapil Kumar. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, his style Taekwondo, and his weight. 57.86 kilograms from Abji Mumbai, Alam Idrisi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your match referee is going to control the fight this evening for bout one. Referee Ryan Thorpe. The referee for Over to Ryan. bout number one is Ryan Thorpe. Welcome, right. Danny. What do you think of this one? Thank you, Arjun. Ryan Thorpe, as I said, one of the most serious MMA referees in all of mixed martial arts, welcomes both the fighters. Here we go to the rules of the Ozone. They're based on grappling, aggression, effective striking and cage control. The three judges score the bout, three rounds lasting five minutes each unless it's a championship fight, which are five five-minute rounds. It is a ten-point scoring system. The winner of the round gets ten points. The opponent gets nine points or less. Fighter, ready? Ready? Fight! Here we go. Round number one. Both fighters touch gloves. Alam in the red, couple in the blue. Both fighters look ready for this one. Alam, oh, nice that, knee to the face. That was a well timed knee landed by Alam. On Kapil, Alam changed camps, didn't he? Well, yeah. well, Alam's been training uh, kickboxing and taekwondo for many years in Mumbai. Uh, recently, he's uh, shifted. He's made Nasik his home, shifted to the SFL uh, headquarters training camp, and has been improving on his ground game. And I see, I think he's uh, he's opened up uh, Kapil's face yeah, I think by Kapil landing a got busted a knee. up by one of those knees. No, he mentioned his trainers mentioned that uh, he's been working on an overall game and. Uh, We've already seen a bit of that here. Both fighters grappling for position. Couple gets almost at the back mount there for a second, trying to establish control. If you, if you notice, uh, Arjun, when, when fighters are making their pro debut, you know, they're, they're coming in wild, they're swinging for the fences. The moment they get some experience, go back to a proper camp and start training, you see the, the change in their game. Now they're coming in as fighters who are poised and calm. They know what they're doing, they understand the sport, and they're looking for a win patiently. That's true, Danny. You don't see them swinging for the fences yet. But uh, Kapil seems to have an arm in. Alam gets the takedown. You can see they're both being equally patient. And the Bombay crowd is making its sentiment clear for Alam Idrisi. Kapil's blood is all over Alam. Alam waiting patiently there. Oh! Kapil! 
Wow, that came out of nowhere. Kapil Kumar, ladies and gentlemen, has submitted Alamidrisi via guillotine choke. Blood or no blood, Kapil wanted that win and he's shown himself to be a contender in this category. Wow, I did not see that. I did not see that coming, to be honest. It looked like Alam had top control. He was. He seemed he would get out of that position, but out of nowhere, Kapil must have been put Alam, on the squeeze. Alam is still shaky after that guillotine. You know, when, when a guy gets uh, guillotined, for, temp for, a, for a brief few seconds, he almost feels that he's going, going unconscious and going to sleep. That's and if a that. fighter hasn't trained and hasn't prepared well enough, he's going to tap. And we can see by the replay, he landed those beautiful knees initially. It was a scramble for control, but at this point, Kapil had that arm in. He had that arm under the neck perfectly. Alam tried to get free, but that was the end of it. He had to tap or he would go unconscious. A great fight by Kapil. Both fighters put on a good show. Well, Kapil <laughs> was definitely the tougher guy. Uh, I'm, I'm absolutely surprised. I have no words uh, regarding uh, Alam because uh, he, he actually prepared and I actually thought I was going to see him put on a better fight than the last time. But, uh, well, it showed that he couldn't handle the pressure. And he couldn't handle the pressure. Kapil, who was the better fighter at the end of tonight's Yes, uh, and if you can see by our Twitter feeds, Ajinkya Rane 88 is saying, watch the SFL 5th, hashtag SFL 15 live tonight on YouTube slash SFL at 9pm India. And at Rajkundra as well, he's tweeted as well. <laughs> hashtag watch the SFL 15 live tonight in Star Sports India. Chairman Mr. Rajkunda always there to support the fighters and the show, tweeting as usual, eight side. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner by submission, guillotine choke in the first round, in one minute and 50 seconds, in the blue corner, Kapil Kumar! Kapil बहुत खुश हो गए थे आप ऐसा लग रहा था कि आप रिंग छोड़ के भागने लगे थे पहले हमसे बात कर लीजिए सांस पर कर लीजिए अपनी दो मिनट के लिए आप जब आए थे बहुत एग्रेसिव लग रहे थे बहुत रेडी लग रहे थे आपका ये स्टाइल लगता है क्योंकि पिछली बार भी जब आप रिंग के अंदर घुसे थे एकदम उत्सुक लग रहे थे टू गेट टू यू नो गेट टू फाइट इन देयर क्या यही आपका स्टाइल है हां मेरा स्टाइल यही है मैं हर वक्त जोश में रहता हूं और कुछ कहना चाहेंगे अपने पेरेंट्स से जो वेट कर रहे होंगे इस रिजल्ट के लिए हां मैं कहना चाहूंगा कि मैं पेरेंट्स से कि मैं सदा यही खेलूंगा और जाके जीतता रहूंगा अगला मिशन क्या है अगला मिशन मुझे आगे तक खेलना है बहुत आगे किसी के पर्टिकुलर फाइटर के साथ किसी फाइटर के साथ अब लड़ना चाहेंगे कोई नाम आपके जहन में अभी तो कोई फाइटर नहीं है <laughs> कोई फाइटर नहीं इनके साथ लड़ने के लिए गिव इट अप रेडी फॉर कपल द विनर फॉर राउंड वन starter for a grand menu wasn't it Dan? Um, I'm absolutely to be very honest I'm absolutely disappointed with that bout I was expecting so much more but uh, kudos to Kapil Kumar he proved that he was a contender he proved that uh, his opponent Alam was just another stepping stone on his his way up to the bantamweight rankings Ritika Alam ne ye dawa kiya tha ki wo apne first hi round mein opponent ko knock out kar denge but instead galati choke se khud hi lose kar gaye so aapko kya lagta hai kya missing tha wahan मैं बहुत शौक दूँ ये फाइट देख के क्योंकि मैंने ट्रेनिंग करी है आलम के साथ मैंने देखा है उनका ग्राउंड काफ़ी अच्छा है शुरू शुरू में वो फाइट काफ़ी अच्छी तरह से खेल रहे थे नीज और कपल के फेस पे देन टेक डाउन भी उन्हें ही मिला लेकिन एंड में वो चौक में आ गए एंड टैप आउट कर गए तो काफ़ी डिसअपॉइंटिंग था ये मेरे लिए लेकिन इट्स ओके हार जीत तो होते रहती है Oh, but it's a promise that the fights are going to get meaner as we progress tonight. Time for a short break. After that, we've got Uchit Sharma versus Kaushik Sen. You've got to stay tuned for this one.
Girls FFL 15, where it's now time for the second bout of the evening. Chuck, well done. This is more of an experience versus an uh, unconventional approach. Kaushik is a veteran in America. Mein train kar chuke hai. Will Uchit, with all of 21, be able to stand up to him? Well, everyone's calling Uchit the uh, SFL's Amir Khan. So, uh, and, and the thing that Uchit brings is he always wants to bring a very different fight approach uh, to the Ozone. Um, I'm actually uh, pretty much you know, at a loss for words because with that last fight, with these kind of surprises, you never know what's going to happen in mixed martial arts. As you said today, Kaushik comes in with all the experience. Will his experience be able to dominate the new unconventional fighter in Uchit? Let's see what the Ozone has for us. Well, so what is format that Amir Khan will be able to fight with Kaushik? Do you think it's going to be an age disadvantage for him? मेरे हिसाब से एक इंसान को सिर्फ स्मार्ट नहीं एमएमए के लिए उसे स्मार्ट एज अ फाइटर होना पड़ता है लेकिन कौशिक के पास एज के साथ काफी सारा एक्सपीरियंस भी है और उचित बिल्कुल नए हैं इस फील्ड में और काफी क्यूट बताते हैं क्यूट आमिर खान एज दिस तो मैं बस वेट कर रही हूँ कि पे उचित यहाँ पर क्या करते हैं कौशिक के अगेंस्ट और कैसा फाइट करते हैं आज यहाँ पर तो उचित के लिए कितना उचित है ये मैच स्वीकार करना लेट्स फाइंड आउट लेट्स इन दी ओजोन Welcome to the Ozone, the deadly and dangerous Uchit Sharma! Uchit Sharma just 21 years of age, coming in with a lot of experience. He's looking to make his mark here once again at Pearl's SFL 15. He makes his way, touching hands with all his fans, and reaches the Mountain Dew prep point. मेरा नाम उचित शर्मा है मैं मेरठ के पास मंगवाना चाहता हूँ मुझे एक शौक था रेसलिंग का बचपन से रेसलिंग करते करते मुझे एक मार्शल आर्ट पता चला कि मार्शल आर्ट होती है मार्शल आर्ट मुशु में कई साल से मैं नेशनल मेडलिस्ट हूँ मेरे ऐसे फल में अभी कैरियर की शुरुआत है मैं पहली फाइट खेला जीत चुका हूँ मैं चाहता हूँ जितनी भी फाइट मैं खेलूँ मैं जीतूँ ऐसे फल पंद्रह के लिए मैंने काफ़ी मेहनत की है मैं पहले भी जीता था अब भी जीत के जाऊँगा मैं अपने अपोनेंट को बताना चाहता हूँ बच के रहना मैं आ रहा हूँ With his final preparations done, just getting Basnid up. What do you think, Danny? Well, Has he changed since his last fight? Um, Ochet is uh, part of the same training camp that uh, Kapil and Mahesh Kumar Balia come from. These are wushu boys who are not just doing a regular wushu training. They're also incorporating a lot of wrestling, uh, a lot of the kushti submissions as well. There you go. He comes from a kushti background as well, that means. No, but he's, uh, he's been working hard on his all-round game. And you know what? I actually have a little nickname for him since his last fight. He moves so fast, he's like a fireball. I know, yeah. That's, that's our fireball. The SFL, the first SFL, SFL, yeah, SFL fireball. Yeah, SFL fireball kid. <laughs> As he makes his way into the Ozone for the second time. And now welcome the boy from the city of joy, Kaushik, the original Sin. All the way from Kolkata comes in dancing is Kaushik Sen for Pearl's SFL 15. Danny, this guy is a character, isn't he? Kaushik, the original Sen. I just love the look at him walking down. <laughs> Originally from Kolkata, living in New Delhi and trained out of Louisville, Kentucky in the USA. That what, is an interesting character What indeed. do you have to say about that, Arjun? Well, <laughs> we'll say more, but he's reached the Mountain Dew prep point now. Dar ke aage jeet hai. My name is Kaushik Sen. I live in Chitranjan Park, New Delhi. I was a shock of martial arts in my childhood. So I wanted to be a fighter. I did mix martial arts. I left it because I was under pressure. And thanks to my parents who have supported me all.
you want to win, you have to sweat, blood, tears. Georgita, very second there. Kaushik Sen at the making the final preparations. In fact, Danny, don't you think he's in fact looking in so much better shape since his uh, last loss here in the SFL to uh, Irfan, actually? Well, yeah. Um, any fighter who's who's had uh, an opportunity against someone who's been been very successful at the SFL at the SFL definitely deserves another chance. Uh, very the World Super Fight League is all about fighters getting second chances as well. And, and tonight he's got his second chance, his chance to redeem himself as he makes his way into the ozone towards a very energetic <laughs> Ochit Sharma. <laughs> yeah, he is like a fireball. <laughs> Gentlemen, ready ho jaiye for bout number two, Manjehue Khiladi versus the newbie. And fighting out of the blue corner, his style, Wushu. His weight, 54.68 kilograms. And representing the city of Meerut, 68 kilograms. And representing the city of Meerut, Uchit Sharma. And on my side, in the red corner, his fighting style, Muay Thai and Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, weighing in at 61.58 kilograms and representing Delhi, Koshik, the original Sin. Dian Tesic, our referee for the second fight of the night in the Bantamweight division. Guys, you know the rules. Follow my instructions when I say stop, stop the fight. Touch the gloves. As we get ready, both fight instructions have been given. Big movement that woke him up, didn't it? <laughs> the Desi boy, Uchit, says, Welcome, you American boy, as you come back, come back home to India. He landed another, uh, tried that head kick again. He landed a nice body kick in the middle there in the previous exchange. Another body kick, Koshik looking to tie him up immediately. Wow, that almost, wow. Ushit needs to be careful there with that. He almost landed that low kick, which would be considered illegal. Koshik trying, looking for a leg lock. Great scramble by both fighters. Well, Uchit, Uchit is one of those fighters who's trying to explore the game of MMA. He's, he's trying to figure out what, what can work and what won't. Uh, Koshik is someone who has been in this place before, but Uchit, he should be worried about that, but he seems to be landing those punches at will. I mean, Koshik is trying to cover up. He's trying to trying to pull this down low. Koshik, he's not. Yeah. Uchit is just too strong for him, Arjun. Now, Uchit is just circling right out of it. Just shows that he's been working on his balance. He let goes. Look like uh, wow. Uchit his, his or left eye had, had is pity for busted. him. Left eye is busted. Oh, and lands another beautiful kick. Another solid kick by Uchit. Well, this guy knows what he's doing in the stand-up. Uchit with his hands down. Burning with confidence. Wow, look at that eye. That eye is that eye is swelling up quick. Koshik is hurt. Koshik uh, is hurt. He got a, I oh, believe it's, nice I believe it's only a miracle that's gonna save him at this point. And I think that could only come by a slick submission. If he's gonna shoot in, if he's gonna take him down, go wow. for a rear naked choke or an arm bar. That's the only way that he's gonna save him wow, at this look point. At that. I think uh, his there was there some solid eye. shots out there. And he oh, and the doctor says that the bout is over. This fight. Uchit Sharma wow. wins his bout. Uchit Sharma wins this bout. The Be doctor incredible stops aggression. that bout this evening. <laughs> wow, that was an amazing performance from the get-go. He was on to him. I mean, it was just incredible. Here we go to replay Kosh Koshik. Just needs to check up. He's Alan checking up on him. If you look at the replay, he landed a shot in, he tried landing a so... I was born in 50 kilos and I was born in 54 kilos. He was born in front of me, he was born in 65 kilos, he was born in 61 kilos. But, not tension, I'm cool, I'm the best player, best player and best player. I was cheating with that, I got the chance to show you the whole year in MMMO. I will show you the whole year how I play. Let's get the water. 
मिला मौका लगाया चौका उचित शर्मा आज के सेकंड बाउट के विनर और अब बैक टू यू सुप्रीत हमारे I was absolutely surprised. Uchit Sharma dominated uh, that bout, and he dominated it in spectacular fashion. He threw some beautiful high kicks, timed those low kicks well enough, and even though Koshik tried that last-minute attempt at. to all the action at the Pearl Super Fight League. Now we have the P3 fight, Adil Bashir vs. Narendra Greval, the dynamite. Well, Adil's defense is very good. But Rithika, can we break Adil up to dynamite? How is his defense? Narendra Greval is a Bushu player and his kicks are very heavy and well-timed. But in his last fight, which was against Bharat Khandare, the title fight, वहाँ पर भरत को नरेंद्र की एक भी किक नहीं लगी थी क्योंकि उनका डिफेंस बहुत स्ट्रॉंग था तो अगर यहाँ पर अदिल का डिफेंस स्ट्रॉंग है तो ये फाइट का नतीजा शायद उनके फेवर में जा सकता है दैन लाइक रितिका जस्ट मैं नरेंद्र इज नॉट न्यू टू दिस फॉर्मैट है Narendra Greval is definitely not new to the cage and he's someone who's coming off of a, a title bout. Uh, he's, being, he's being challenged here by Adil Bashir. 
Adil Bashir is someone who no one knows about, but he has two wins at SFL contenders. And he's here to test Narendra Grewal because Narendra Grewal has actually dropped a category, shifted from featherweights and come down to bantamweights. Let's see how this fight goes. Well, uh, you've heard our experts talk now. We'd like to hear what you have to say. So please send us your tweets. Our Twitter handle is at the Fight League. And on that note, I would like to know how Adil will handle the dynamite. Over to Keith. Ladies and gentlemen, Sundar Jammuse. Welcome our first fighter, Adil Bashir. Adil Bashir making his way to Pearl's SFL 15. Tonight is his debut. My name is Arjun Chipalkati. I'm joined by the COO of the SFL, Daniel Isaac, as Adil makes his way to the Mountain Dew prep point. Dar Keage Jeet Hai. My name is Adil Bashir Bhatt. I am from Jammu and Kashmir. I am doing a lot of work in my childhood, but I am doing a lot of work in my childhood. The support is very good. My father was doing karate and he gave me a lot of work for MMA. Hello, Adil. 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 हल्के मत लेना बच के रहना तोड़ के रखूंगा और बम छोड़ने आए हाय डैनी सो आदल मेकिंग हिज डेब्यू हियर टुनाइट बम व्हाट डू यू थिंक वेल आदल बशीर इज आवर फर्स्ट रिप्रेजेंटेटिव फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड द रीजन ही इज हियर is because he's been fighting at SFL contenders he has two wins at contenders and now he's here to challenge Narendra Grewal yeah, I heard he put on quite a performance uh, in the contenders uh, back in Nasik. And tonight, he promises to put on a real show for his fans in his debut at Pearl's SFL 15. He makes his way inside the Ozone for the first time. On Ozone, may bomb chorne aaye hai. Narendra. The Dynamite Garewal! Coming off a loss to the champion Bharat Kandare in the Bantamate division is Narendra Grewal. Danny, he put up quite a fight in that. Well, you know, fight, didn't al he? although he came off a loss, he came off a loss of with someone who was very, very well-rounded in MMA. Narendra Gebal, as he makes his way for the final preparations at the Mountain Dew prep point. Dar ke aage jeet hai. My name is Narendra Gebal. I am a Haryana Hisar. ट्रेनिंग के साथ साथ अगर हम पढ़ाई करेंगे तो बहुत सारी प्रॉब्लम्स होती हैं तो मैं अपने आप को गेम से दूर नहीं रख पाया और मैंने पढ़ाई को छोड़ दिया और गेम को अपना लिया मेरी फैमिली से बहुत गुस्सा थी लेकिन पापा बड़े भाई वो बहुत सपोर्टिव हैं एमएमए मेरे लाइफ में बहुत मायने रखता है और एमएमए बोले तो एसएफएल सुपर फाइट लीग ने मेरी लाइफ को बदल के रख दिया है अरे मुझे बोलना बोलना ना आता मैं करके दिखाऊंगा प्यार हो जाइए भाई। Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, Narendra Gaypal. I made a mistake earlier. I apologize. He's actually come down from the featherweight division to the bantamweight division. Where in the featherweight division he was challenging for the title, and he lost to Bharat Kandare. But Dan, tell me something. Why did he drop down a division? Well, you know, every time the fighters evolve in any part of the world in mixed martial arts, they're going to understand the importance of the weight cut. And uh, although Narendra Grewal was doing pretty well at the featherweights, he realized that if he was going to cut weight, he was going to perform a lot better. Well, and that's the reason why. Well, he's looking here at him here tonight, he seems to be in much better shape. And coming down from featherweight, I presume he will have a significant advantage in terms of strength. 
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to bout number three in SFL 15. And in the blue corner, his fighting style, MMA. His weight, 61.2 kilograms, representing the wonderful state of Jammu and Kashmir, Adil Bashir. On red corner, me hai. Unka style wushu, unka bazan, 61 kilograms. Aate hai Haryana se Narendra Garewal. <laughs> Welcome to our match referee, ladies and gentlemen. The referee for this fight is Ryan Thorpe. Bringing the fighters together for their final instructions. The judges for this fight are Kushnur Jijna, Banji Mahida, and Chetar Kinhikar. Judge, judge, we are set Time. for Fighter. round Ready. number one. Ready, fight of this fight. Nandre in the red. We are ready for fireworks. In the blue. Oh, nice. immediately they go all out. Whoa. Oh. Incredible slam, straight. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the first time that an opponent was ever slammed on his face <laughs> as Narendra Grewal actually slammed to the Adil SFL, Bashir onto Adil the mat. Bashir. <laughs> That's a, that is a rude well, welcome. Well, there, there is this kid, Adil. He just doesn't give up. He is here in this fight to prove a point. Uh, he look, doesn't care whether you're strong, that's a beautiful whether you have experience. He wants and to fight. Wow. And oh, German suplex. And takes his back immediately. He doesn't have both the hooks, but he transitions to mount just perfectly. Smarter move for him to go to the Looking full mount. To land some Trying to go for a back. choke that he Looking has for the a hooks choke. In. He's got the hooks in. He's got the arm underneath the neck. Adil trying his best to peel off. Will the boy from Jammu give up or will he get out of that rear naked choke? Now that looks pretty tight, Danny. He's just, he doesn't have his hands clasped. I think that's the only thing that's saving Adil at this point. Oh, and wow, that's a good... Oh, but he gave up his position again, and this time it's worse. He's flattening him out. Up, and he this is Narendra over. Grewal wins. Welcome. He's successful to submit wow. Adil Bashir in Narendra the first Grewal. round. Impressive okay. performance, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. This man means business. The drop down from featherweight to bantamweight seems to have worked just perfectly. Incredible performance, a beautiful submission via rear naked chokes. Well, Adil Bashir, coming off of two wins at Contenders, was there to try and put up a great fight, but unfortunately for him, Narendra Grewal proved to be more oh, experienced it was incredible. Fighter. Here we go to the replay. Beautiful left hand landed. He landed a, a couple of combos. He landed a few slams. You see that slam there? He had him hurt at this point. And then you look at that beautiful technique. He switched from the right leg into a German suplex, gets his back there. Got his back on two occasions. This time he flattened him out, and that's all she wrote. Incredible performance, say Danny. But here we go to Twitter at Argyle Bomb saying that if you're not watching, hashtag SFL15, check your pulse and get your life first fight. I'm in guillotine. That's how it's done. Hashtag MMA. The Sutsir says, first bout of live fighting I have watched ever, and it's gruesome and exhilarating. Hashtag goosebumps. Hashtag SFL15 at the Raj Kundra. Tweet your views with hashtag SFL15. Well, there seems to be a bit of a record in SFL 15. Most fights ending in the first round. Total domination by the fighters. And our today's and the third round SFL 15 ke hai. Narendra Garewal by submission, rear neck choke in one minute and 10 seconds. Narendra, you said that I would like to show you here and do it here. So, what you have done was very amazing. Your plan was that you would use your wushu skills? Yes, I thought that I had planned for this bout before. And I played the whole game against my planning. And the bout was very good. And we were going to win. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's hear it for Navendra Garewal. 
और अब बढ़ते हैं बढ़ते हैं अब सुप्रिया की तरफ It's going to be a night of knockouts and submissions I see Subrit. I need to stay away from you then, right? In case you get in the mood. Uh Ritika, yahan pe Adil ne kaha tha that he's been working on his ground a lot. Aapko kuch bhi aisa evident laga aaj ke is round mein? Agar Adil ne the ground game pe bahut zyada work kiya tha, to Narendra ne unse double work kiya tha yahan par evident tha aaj is fight mein kyunki Narendra Agarwal ek bushu ke stand up fighter hai lekin unhone ground pe submission se fight khatam karke ek bahut hi behtareen prashan dikhaya aaj yahan par. Lots of crazy fights are coming up. They can have a short break out. Okay, but we get into our fourth bout of the night, which is Johnny versus the Mahesh Kumar. Stay tuned, people.
Mahesh Kumar Balia is being billed as the next Anup Kumar from the SFL camp. And Mahesh is himself a veteran of over 70 wrestling bouts, out of which he's won about 60 of them. Now, he's being challenged here by Johnny, who's virtually unknown from the Northeast, but he's a national level karate, kung fu, and taekwondo champion. So, the karate kid meets the desi wrestler in today's fight. Well, our Desi wrestler Mahesh is actually a top level wrestler, who is in Kushti. So, you think that he will use his strength to overpower his opponent and maybe go for a submission victory. I have been training with Mahesh in the camp and I have seen that he is one number. But I have seen that he is one number. But I have seen that he is one number. But I have seen that he is one number. But I have seen that he is one number. But I have seen that he is one number. But I have seen that he is one number. So, if he is one number, he is one number. And Mahesh is not able to dominate this fight. So their defense is ready for Daniel against, so I think this fight will be very interesting. Strikers vs. a wrestler. Well, here we welcome fighters from various backgrounds. And the same goes for our MMA fans as well. If you prefer this show in Hindi, prefer karte hai, to please tune in to Star Sports too. Otherwise, stick to Star Sports. And remember to send in your tweets. We're reading them all here. We're receiving them. So please share your experience with us. At, um, it's at the Fight League. And now, we are waiting for your tweets, but we know that you are waiting for this fight. So let's go straight to it. Let's go to where the action is, to the Ozone. And the next fight, Pearl SFL 15, is about four. Karate Kid vs. Akhara Kid. Pele, please welcome the Karate Kid, all the way from Shillong, Johnny Rinta Chiang. Johnny Rintatyang, all the way from Shillong, making his debut here tonight at Pearl's SFL 15. He reaches the Mountain Dew fighter prep point for the final preparations before his fight. Mountain Dew, dar ke aage jeet hai. My name is Johnny, Johnny Rintatyang. I'm from Shillong, Meghalaya. The SFL has given me the platform to really give, to show my skill. My father is my inspiration. My father has just passed on 2012. He wanted to see me as a good fighter. I would like to dedicate this fight to my father. SFL is the ultimate thing, like they understand that. And if I win the SFL, my mom will be the happiest person. The only message that I would like to give to my opponent is I don't have any word for him. Talk to my hand. Johnny making his final preparations. Dan, you saw that. Uh, you, saw, you saw a bit of that uh, fighter video, right? I love the way he said, talk to the hand. <laughs> well, we should have a, a smiley developed for uh, Johnny Rinta Tiang for that. <laughs> no, that was the, <laughs> I think that was the line of the night uh, so far. He seems quite entertaining, but getting back to business, yeah, he comes from a very good, uh, he actually comes from a boxing background, doesn't he? Well, Johnny has been, he's been there, he's done that. He's done almost all the different styles of fighting. He's been in Kung Fu, Taekwondo, Karate, Judo, Wushu, and yeah, even boxing. <laughs> wow, well, he makes his debut, we'll find out what he uses. Please welcome for the form of Kushti, Mahesh Kumar Balia.
Vushu and Kushti. Mahesh on his way towards the Ozone, touching hands with his fans. He seems real pleased to be here as he reaches the Mountain Dew Fighter Prep Point. Dar ke aage jeet hai. My name is Kumar Balian. I'm from Gaon Mugandpur. Mixed Martial Arts is a family for the whole family. I don't know about this. I'm going to make Mixed Martial Arts. I'm going to make a star. If you look at the TV, everyone will be aware of it. Because of this, Mixed Martial Arts will be more than cricket. Because this is a real show. And once again, you won't get the chance. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you saw that this man means business. In fact, I spoke to some of his trainers and they were telling me that he actually has and he, he instinctively learns and picks up new uh, newer and newer skills coming from, uh, I think, a Kushti and uh, a Wushu background, isn't he, Danny? Well, all that I've seen of Mahesh Kumar Balia is pick you up and slam you. <laughs> and, and, he, and he has got some legit wrestling techniques. And, and the, the excellent thing about Mahesh Kumar Balia is he uses his wrestling to adapt to MMA perfectly well. That, per that sounds very, very interesting as he pays his respects to the Ozone where he is, makes his debut at Pearl's SFL 15. Arjun, I'm truly excited about this bout. Ladies so and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to the excitement of bout four in the Ozone. And in the blue corner, his style Kung Fu, representing Shillong Meghale. Johnny Randalteng! And in the red corner, Inca style hair wrestling. Inca Bazan, 57.56 kilogram. UPK, Mahesh Kumar Balia! On Hamare match referee hair, Diane Tesic. Your referee for bout number four in the bantamweight division is Dian Tesic, giving the fighters their final instructions as we are underway for round number one. Fighters touch gloves. Mahesh in the red trunks. Time. Are ready? Ready? Let's fight! And Johnny we are blue. underway, Arjun. Oh! You attempted a nice flying knee, did Johnny? You were right, Danny, he is unpredictable. It lands a nice combination. Mahesh, they're right Mahesh in front Shutsin of us here. has got the grip, but Johnny has come prepared. He's got double underhooks. He's the Kung Fu boy who's strong enough to take on this wrestler. Got some look very at this. nice He's got, balance. Oh, for a second, he almost Mahesh gave up his position. Mahesh has taken the dominant position now. Put in, Johnny on his back. In the open guard is Mahesh looking to do some damage from here. But Johnny seems to be very active from the bottom. You can see he's bucking his hips. Johnny trying... actually spotted that slam attempt and he was <laughs> able to open his guard and look not at that, look allow. At look at this, look at this, he's got love. Whoa, he's got love, wow. Oh, that is incredible. He's looking for that arm bar. Oh, 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 that arm looks. <laughs> wow, he's still got a hold of that, oh, he. He's lost a grip of that arm, but he's still holding on. Oh! Stop, stop. And he oh. has stamped him out. What a performer by Unbelievable Johnny. As out of that, he tried to slam him. But I think at the end of the day, if you oh. look at that, oh, that, oh, was, that, that was bad. That looks bad there, right there in the replay. You can see that. I think his arm was hurt. Incredible armbar victory. And now we go to the Twitter. At Film Ninja says, hashtag SFL15 live. It is Indian MMA with Street Fighter-esque Bollywood music. And so today begins with all kinds of awesome. That's interesting. And Rajiv Rao 86 says, just saw a fighter tap out to a rear naked choke. Live, hashtag SFL15. That's where you should be, SFL. Pearl SFL fans, you should Treat be tweeting views. about the fights tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Hamare Pass here, winner of bout four. Again, in the first round, 
by submission Amba in one minute and 42 seconds, Johnny! Johnny, your move was very unusual. You came to him and you knew that he would go for your waist. I didn't have a wrestling, so I thought that he would go down. Johnny, you have to stop. 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 So you felt that he's a wrestler, he's going to take you down. So you decided to punch him first. I prepared it. Last few weeks, I thought, he's a wrestler. I won't be able to go with him. So I thought, if I finish him off with my first move, it'll be better. So you're a striker. Are you doing anything to improve your wrestling skills and your grappling skills? Like, we practice a lot about that, but <laughs> we are not uh, like uh, wrestlers and all that. We just prepare. But <laughs> okay, nonetheless, you're overcome. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Johnny Kelly! Thora Dil Nikhaye from Shillong. Well done. And we're going to go to Supreet. Well, we have our uh, winner in Johnny. Dan, Johnny said that he's very down to earth, but he's going to take his opponent to the ground. Pe le well, it all goes to show. I think Anup Kumar is smiling watching tonight's fight because he'll be saying, there is no other Anup Kumar except me. <laughs> yeah, because you said it. You compared. Yes, I did. And uh, Johnny proved me wrong. Johnny proved that a guy who comes out of nowhere with all his kung fu skills can bring the element of surprise and defeat the wrestler. He said he loves the jab. Did you see quite a, bad, quite, quite a lot of that as well today? Well, well, what Johnny did was everything except the jab. He, he actually did a jetly move, flew over Mahesh Kumar Balia, and then he grabbed that armbar out of nowhere. I, I, was, I, was awe, I was absolutely dumbfounded and awestruck with that armbar. Excellent move, and I'm really impressed with Johnny Rintathyang. You're never dumbfounded when it comes to comparison. The jetly move, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rithika, according to you, was Johnny the real crusher, true to his name? Johnny, obviously, his expertise is in striking, but उन्होंने जो आमवार लिया है जो बिल्कुल मतलब सरप्राइजिंग था हम सब के लिए वो बहुत ही कमाल का था और बहुत टाइट था अगर वो टैप ना करते तो उनका हाथ टूट सकता था तो ये काफी अच्छा मूव था और हाँ वो आगे में क्रशर है। Well, well, things are definitely heating up here. How about we take a very quick cooling break, maybe sip a Mountain Dew, and come right back after. क्योंकि अगर डर के आगे जीत है तो ब्रेक के बाद है bout number five. It's Ricky Sahani versus Dean Muhammad Jorat. See you then.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The excitement on this fight night is quite evident, Kate said, and I hope that you can sense this amazing vibe. Remember, you too can be a part of it by tweeting, and your handle is at the Fight League. Well, now it's time for us to raise the bar a bit with bout number five, which is Dean Muhammad versus Ricky Sahani. So, uh, Ritik, I would like to begin with you. Do you think excitement is increasing now? Because now, all the bouts are international fighters in international fighters. जी ये बात तो बिल्कुल तय है कि एक्साइटमेंट बढ़ती जा रही है लेकिन हमारे जो इंडियन फाइटर्स हैं जो ट्रेनिंग करते हैं एस के फिटनेस कैंप पे उनकी ट्रेनिंग भी अब इंटरनेशनल लेवल के बराबर हो चुकी है सो ये फाइट्स बहुत ज़्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग और तगड़ी होने वाली है बल बाकी इंटरनेशनल मूव्स के बारे में तो मुझे कुछ खास नहीं पता बट मैं एक चीज़ गारंटी से कह सकती हूँ दिस वन मूव दैट्स फॉर शो दीन मोहम्मद है सलमान खान के फैन तो मैं गारंटी से कह सकती हूँ कि वो जब उस में उतरेंगे तो शर्टलेस उतरेंगे हाँ बता जी ये तो बिल्कुल आई मीन होने ही वाला है आई थिंक ऑल द लेडीज विल बी लुकिंग फॉर वट दैट वन um it's right dan you can blush as well and smile if you want to um <laughs> uh, what about uh, the bout here what are we expecting here well there's there's an interesting story to uh, tonight's bout between ricky and dean muhammad uh, the guy who holds the the sfl uh, well uh, sorry the lightweight title is uh, rick uh, sorry uh, rajinder singh meena um rajinder singh meena once upon a time was competing against ricky and in the wushu circles ricky is very angry that rajinder singh owns the 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 lightweight belt and he says i shouldn't have been fighting deen i should have been he i should have been taking on rajinder for the title so we have an an angry young man who's walking into the ah, cage tonight so we did hear that he was a bit upset about this match up but uh, let's see if he proves this one right yeah the matchmaker is the one in control so let's see if ricky can beat him and step ahead and challenge who knows challenge rajinder for the title well, Dean Muhammad also owns a snooker club, so let's see if he lands a perfect shot tonight. Over to Keith in the Ozone. And Pearl's SFL 50 has been four bouts in the SFL 50. And four of them have been now. That's right. First round finishes. Now it's going to be the fifth bout. Where do you think this is going to go? Please welcome first the Mean Dean, all the way from Afghanistan. Dean Mohammed Jarad. <laughs> Dean Mohammed Jarad making his way from Afghanistan to Mumbai for Pearl's SFL 15. He looks primed and ready as he makes his way to the Mountain Dew Fighter Prep Point. Dar ke aage jeet hai. I see what the fuck I got. Mera naam D. Mohammed hai. Mera MMA record three win hai. मैं पंसीर अफगानिस्तान में पैदा हुआ हूं ये एमएमए का टाइटल मेरे परिवार और मुल्क के लिए सम्मान की बात है मैं यहां जीतने के लिए आया हूं मैं अपने अपोनेंट को खत्म कर दूंगा Dean Mohammad Jorath with the final preps at the prep point. So Dan, tell me something. Well, Is well, one he thing, the brother uh, of another SFL fighter called Baz Mohammad? Well, Arjun, uh, that's the reason why Dean Mohammad is fighting at Pearl's SFL tonight. <laughs> is because uh, we we have uh, I think half the family from uh, uh, ba Baz and then I think team. I saw his corner. Yeah, he had a I special mean, section. There, there's a there's a whole uh, team of brothers who are some of the <laughs> toughest fighters in Afghanistan, and they're all making their way towards <laughs> Pearl's SFL. Well, if he's anything like his brother Baz Mohammad, who has proven himself to be hard hitting. Then we are in for a treat here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Baz actually told us, uh, if, if you've seen me, you haven't seen my brothers yet. And for them to fight with them, we will be in the ozone of the Delhi ke angry young man, Ricky Sane. <laughs> Ricky.
Ricky Ranjit Sani. Well, Dan, no introduction required for this man because he's already an SFL wet. He fought at SFL 2. He made a great explosion onto the MMA scene in India as he makes his way to the Mountain Dew fighter prep point. Dar ke aage jeet hai for the final preparations. My name is Ricky Ranjit Sani. I am from Delhi. I started with Vushu. In the Vushu, I have a record of 20 wins and 5 losses. For me, the SFL fight is an achievement for me. It's like the water comes from the water. 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 This match, I want to dedicate it to Dennis Holmer and Benji Radich, my coaches. Best of luck for the fight. Give your best shot. I'm going to give my best shot. Let the best fighter win. And if you want to win, you have to win. So, Dan, Ricky Ranjit making his way back here for Pearl's SFL 15. He's no stranger to the Ozone, is he? Arjun, there's one thing I'm sure you'll agree with me. Most of the uh, Pearl's SFL fighters have uh, been groomed, it seems, because they're coming out with some excellent dialogues. They're bringing some <laughs> Bollywood into the fights tonight. Very true, Dan, very true. They're adding a certain amount of drama to the entire fight game. I, I, I challenge you tonight, Arjun. <laughs> Try and count the number of times that you're going to see Ricky smile, because he won't. <laughs> okay. Well, I remember him. Here we go. Ricky making his way into the Ozone. And from the beautiful hills of Afghanistan, fighting in the blue corner, his style MMA and his weight 70.3 kilograms, Dean Muhammad Jarat. And fighting at the red corner, his style also MMA, weighing in at 70.72 kilograms, representing Delhi, Ricky Sani. And the referee for this fight is Ryan Thorpe. The referee for this light Over to you, Sabri. fight is Ryan Thorpe. Well, we have two people in the Ozone Bringing who, them together. Small, who definitely don't smile. <laughs> Ryan Thorpe <laughs> and Ricky Ranjit. Now look at it. I want to see if they touch gloves, to be honest. But they're getting their final instructions by Ryan Thorpe before they head back to their corners. Oh, Ooh. oh, that was a bit of a, <laughs> there was some intensity there. There was oh, Dan, a, what did I tell you? That was a Dolph Lundgren <laughs> from uh, Rocky IV. That what did I tell you? <laughs> well, you you win that bet. I win that bet. <laughs> Both Judge. fighters, prime Judge. and ready. Judge, Judge. Ricky, fighter ready, ready, fight. And Ricky in the red trunks. We are Dean in the blue. And he goes straight for that takedown. No time for Dean as Ricky goes straight for the takedown. They're both scrambling. Dean trying to defend. Where well, there are two wrestlers fighting here, two wrestlers clashing here, but one of the wrestlers is better at his all-round MMA. So far, Ricky seems to be proving He's to be the most more well-rounded fighter. In Ricky's fact, got he the has knee, the on, as knee well. on belly at this point. The knee across the belly is the worst thing you can feel in well, well, what, what he's doing with the knee on belly is he's actually saving himself from that guillotine attempt. And by, by establishing Very the full, full mount, he is on top and uh, I would think out of danger from that guillotine attempt by, uh, by Baz's brother. That's what I'm going to call him tonight, <laughs> Baz's, Baz's brother. brother. Dean, <laughs> well, he seems to be in no danger of that guillotine. He's trained extensively for defense against that move precisely. In fact, Ricky comes in with so much of experience, even though he's fought in the SFL only just the one time. In that fight against Sanayake from uh, Sri Lanka, he really proved his mettle. He showed some wrestling prowess, his skill, and more importantly, his patience. Well, uh, Ricky is at this point listening to his cornerman, and he is out, out of, of that guillotine attempt. But he look, look at this, he's got his back. He's Going trying to flatten him out. Going for the rear naked choke. The You're Afghani looking... fighter is still strong at this point. Still no, out this of is danger, early in the round. but Ricky Maybe. is landing those shots. Leather is being felt, hard leather being felt. Oh, look at this! Ricky He's trying at this to shake point. him off. 
You see, he's trying. He, he's too high at this point, but Ricky has he's maintaining control. Well, oh, look at this. Dean reverses it and looking for a slam there. Good defense by Ricky. Tried a slam of his own there for a second, fighting in front of us. And he goes for the back once again. He's looking for the back again, maintaining those, maintaining that control. He's got the gable grip. Dean staying patient and calm. Dean staying patient and calm. Patient, but uh, well, you nice see, Dean Muhammad uh, does know his wrestling, so he's able to balance out that slam. And he seems to be getting back up instantly. The minute R Ricky takes him down, oh, Dean that's, is that's already back up. Look that at this. That is strong. That is strength, my brother. That is, that strength. is strength. Very true. I mean, Ricky has, is maintaining that back control perfectly. Dean so far has been impressing everybody with his with his wrestling defense and his ability to get up as soon as he's taken down. Gate. Referee Ranthop warns Dean for grabbing the fence. That well, is I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it again, Arjun. If I was in Ricky's corner, oh, I would say this that is should, a different ball game altogether. That, Danny. Like he should not be trying to wrestle him now. He, he should, should try not. to use what's better, and that is his striking. Well, if Dean has anything like his brother's ground Action, and brown, guys, come on. Ricky is in some deep trouble here. Maintaining that mount. Dean Muhammad Dean. is on top, but he seems to be a little tired. He seems to be a bit tired right now, but he's just he just has to balance himself. He's trying to land some ground and pound. Ricky defending himself so far. He's trying to get out of it. Oh, Arjun, oh, almost. These, these Afghani boys are strong and they come oh, to scrap. Oh, they're very strong. Oh, it looked like someone was trying to poke someone in oh, the eye. Oh, yeah, it, that, it, looked like, it looked like that for a second, but we'll have to catch that on the replay. Ricky, wow. <laughs> Again, I think we might have seen an instance. Great job done by Ricky. He pulls Ricky it. He pulls it back to guard. Now pulled him into guard. Beautiful job to get out of that mount. One of the most dangerous positions on the ground in MMA. Wow, we're already uh, four minutes into this I fight. Think, yeah, Arjun. this is the first fight that's gone so far. Being patient on the bottom is Ricky. Oh, landed a nice punch there, did Dean. Dean Muhammad is trying to establish control, land those bombs. But I think Ricky is, uh, you know, exercising some patience here. No, Ricky is trying to get a lot more patient. What, what, what Ricky needs to do is get out of oh, that stalemate position. That if was he's a gonna hard stay one. Against the Another cage, one. It's going to be very difficult for him to work out. Wait, see, he's trying to get the butterflies there to flip him over. He tried to get his legs underneath. He's just trying to push him off at this point. Bas, oh, hard shot. Wow, and you can see Ricky already has some redness. 30 seconds more, ladies and gentlemen, as uh, Ricky in survival guys. mode here. is trying to defend himself against the, uh, very, the very aggressive and team powerful Muhammad. Afghan. He looks very, very... In fact, Ricky is defending himself so far, but he needs to be careful because at Action, any point... Guys, come on. One of those 10 seconds bombs more, ladies and gentlemen. 10 seconds to go. Well, Ricky landed an elbow there. A quick elbow, a quick short elbow. But so far, a dominant top game so by and the, the end of round one round the first one. bout to finish round one and ricky gives him a pat on the back and says <laughs> well boy let's see you in the next round <laughs> well if you see that was a great that was a great round he controlled it perfectly and so far he doesn't look that tired danny uh, dean mohammed went back to but if you see the replay here ricky shot in instantly he has a great wrestling pedigree himself and he co controlled him for the first half of that fight. Yes, yes, yes. But I think halfway around when Baz got there, you can see that, that slam attempt. You can see both wrestlers deflected that. And look at this ground and pound. Well, if, if I'm going to evaluate this bout, Arjun, I'd say these are two strong wrestlers. One who's great in the stand-up and one who's great in smashes. Yes. <laughs> well, we are underway for round number two. Seconds out. The final instructions. From, for white Ricky, white from his trainer, Alan. Cloth, Shivaji Gotse, the uh, head timekeeper, screams seconds out. <laughs> seconds quickly, out. Quickly. Ryan Thorpe Two making dogs. sure. All the trainers are out. Time. Fighter ready. That was there a solid ready. round. That was Arjun. a solid right. round with solid, some solid, solid grappling. Round. Will we see some more of the same or will it be a different game Ricky plan by Ricky? Ricky needs to change the game plan. And, and land some of his, uh, his Muay Thai strikes yeah, his now. trademark. He's got some great kicks. He's got some good combinations. He needs to get in there, establish that range, and avoid the wrestling of Baz. 
A couple of elbows and I'm sure the game plan will change. Elbows and knees should be the name of the game for Ricky now. Now Ricky certainly has the advantage in the stand-up. You can see his technique is smoother. Dean on the other hand is a little more sluggish. He looks more like a puncher. He looks more like a brawler, excuse me. Ricky calling him calling him on saying, well, let's have some of those low kicks. You can see that I think his corner Rick, gave him the Ricky, perfect Ricky respects his wrestling now. He, no, he's no, staying he's, away yeah, from the clinch. Very true. He's staying. He, he doesn't want to grapple anymore with this man. He wants nice to keep it on the outside. There. The, well, Arjun, the, the low kicks, whether it's on the inside or the outside, oh. is going to weaken the opponent's stance. Very true, very and true. And a smart move leg. by Ricky nice to jab. start to, you know, break him down with, with uh, those low kicks. Very true. It can take away a fighter's base. Look at this. He's trying to get his back again. Great scramble by both fighters. Ricky needs to circle out of that. He needs to, you can see Dean is beginning to tire. Dean, Dean Muhammad looks slower. a bit more tired now at this point. And Ricky seems to be getting his oh nice very low nice kick. Duck. Oh, you very very nice, nice smile. Duck. Dad, he smiled again. Oh, there. he smiled. <laughs> smile number one. We're counting these now. Now Ricky is, seems to be enjoying himself here Arjun, in the second I round. I am charged, my oh, friend. Nice, I want to start calling out instructions for Ricky. Yes. <laughs> nice leg kick. But, but he needs to be careful of that but, overhand but right. But Dean has got some solid, solid strength. I'm, I am right no, now. He needs to be careful of that right hand. I am absolutely Actually, nice amazed strong. by Dean. I mean, this guy is nice strong. Leg kick. He is very strong. The no, Mubaris brothers are strong, <laughs> Arjun. <laughs> no, he landed. He landed a couple of those leg kicks, trying to break down the lead leg of. Dean Mohammed. Excellent strategy oh, nice by body Ricky. Kick. Jabs. Oh, wait a minute. I think he, Ricky got tagged there for a second. Looking for a trip. He gets oh, that trip. Not a good spot oh. for him. Not a good spot for him again. Not a good spot for him again. But a good but escape. He's got a leg over. Oh. Oh. He's looking for that triangle. Oh. Oh. He's got oh. that arm nice in. Elbow. He's pulling. He's looking Very for that. Very nice. Oh. But oh. He needs to be careful of that. Look for and a submission he's there. Him out. Good move. Good smart move. Smart move to get back on his feet. It's coming out alive, Arjun. <laughs> Turning Everyone side seems kick. to enjoy what's going on. Oh, Ricky needs to be careful here. He's, he was a little sloppy with that. Guillotine attempt by oh. the Dean. That looks tight. But he moves oh, to the side in an oh. excellent way to escape. Again, knee on the belly. He, as needs, said to, Danny. he needs to land those elbows. <laughs> he needs to get mean. He needs to get mean on the Dean. <laughs> mean on the Dean. Oh, well, the mean Dean. But, but I'm sure, <laughs> guys, I'm, I'm sure he is starting to break Dean Muhammad down. No, th this, this uh, Ricky has shown so much composure. He was. He needs, he needs to start landing that hard leather there. Yeah, he's, he's landing some night right hands to the body. He's looking to slam him again. Just at this point, just okay. using the back, pushing his opponent up against the cage, tiring him out more, landing those short punches. Both fighters are tired. Dean Muhammad wants to keep it's keep more going. Tired, he's, actually. he's uh, well, he just wants that guillotine. He looked for that guillotine oh. and a knee. He, he, beautiful knee. Showing Muay some of that Muay Thai maybe. that he learned in uh, Thailand. Ricky spent many months living in Phuket, Thailand, Come training on, guys, and should. developing his Muay Thai. Landed a couple of nice a knees, another nice, nice knee to the knee body. Once again. Oh, oh. Gymnastics <laughs> in the ozone. He just tumbles Action, a little guys, bit, but gives up control again. Nice knee by Dean this time. Both exchange knees. Both fighters look tired. And a nice. solid knee landed Another up there nice again. Knee. Both fighters look exhausted at this point. Ladies and gentlemen and viewers watching us on Star Sports and action, worldwide guys, on YouTube, on. you should be here, Kate side. You should be Kate side to see the, the excitement. Action. Stop. Ryan Top. Oh, come on, ref. Sender, yo. He was working. Face each other. Ryan Top separates up, up. the referees. Fight. Dean looks Arjun versus exhausted. the SFL, the Pearls <laughs> SFL referees. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh. Dean in the clinch. Ricky pushes him up. Both well, fighters Ricky should try exhausted. and finish this fight. He's got 30 seconds more, ladies and gentlemen. Nice knee. 30 seconds. 25 seconds left in round number two. Will both these fighters survive the round? For all those who have just joined us on Star Sports and YouTube, this is one they of the most war. exciting <laughs> fights tonight. You can hear the in the guys, fight. Daddy, I can barely hear you over this noise. Well, this is what Paul's SFL is all about, Arjun. <laughs> More knees Arjun. in the clinch. Both fighters giving it their all. They seem absolutely exhausted. Stop. And an another awesome round. round. Wow, another excellent round. round.
That was an incredible attempt by both fighters. You can see both fighters are exhausted. Well, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you... And we go to the highlights, we see round number two okay, was fight. more striking than anything okay, else. Fight. Low kicks, low kick, kicks yeah. and more low kicks. We landed some good punches yeah, here in the guard. You know, for, for, those, for those of you who, who are critical about fighters' uh, stamina and endurance, you have to see go that. into the cage and try and going all out for five minutes. That's one of the bestest cardio tests ever, Arjun. Hardest cardio tests in the world. Incredible performance so far by both these valiant fighters. Alan this Fernandez, the uh, SFL uh, Fighters Bootcamp and SFL Fitness uh, Instructor. Oh, quickly, quickly. Bars, giving last-minute instructions up, up, Ricky up, up, to the fighter. Feet. Ricky already on his feet. Up, Bars is... Up, Luke, I'm sorry, Dean. You up. I beg your pardon, ladies and gentlemen. Dean getting up gingerly. Wait Get a minute. Out. He puts in Get his mouth guard. Out. Do you want to fight? Ryan no? Top asking is he or no? Dean if he wants to continue. He's fighting or no? No? Oh no! He couldn't. Oh no! He Fight couldn't answer no. the call Luke in round stop. number three, ladies and gentlemen. Luke, I hear you. I want to hear. Ricky, Ranjit, Sani pays his respects. Oh. Well, what can you say, Dan? Well, well, what I what I can say is that uh, Ricky proved to be the cardio machine tonight. Good if you see the highlights again. I mean, this is the same highlights of round number two and one now. Both fighters landed equally. Dean looked good in that first round with his resting his control in the second round. He almost got that guillotine there. I think he just had absorbed a lot of those punches, those knees to the body, and could not answer the call anymore. The smarter wrestler was the one to win the fight. And uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, uh, Baz's brother was not successful Tonight. was not unfortunately but you know what Dean had his moments next time perhaps he needs to work on his cardio and come back in better shape The Twitter at Oyo Tucker. If you ha all have not seen the live MMA fight, then now would be a good time to hashtag SF15 and at Buzzovs Tiger. Love this show, it's as thrilling as the UFC. Wow, but one thing I like most about it is that it's providing a background for Indian fighters. Hashtag SF15. I think it's even better than the UFC, don't you think? Ladies and gentlemen, Pehli Bar. Pearls SFL 15 may hum pehle round se aage bade into the second and almost the third, which is an achievement. And the winner is due to forfeit after two rounds by Dean Mohammed, the winner, Ricky Sane. Hi, Ricky. कैसा लग रहा है आपको रिकी आप एक्सपेक्ट कर रहे थे कि आफ्टर द सेकंड सेकंड राउंड की तीसरे राउंड में जाएगा आपको लड़ना पड़ेगा वो यू सरप्राइज्ड विद व्हाट हैपन एक्चुअली आई वाज एक्सपेक्टिंग कि लड़ेंगे ये थर्ड राउंड में नहीं दैट हिल से नो अच्छा आपको लगा कि ही विल से नो बट बहुत स्ट्रांग फाइट रही आपकी मोस्ट ऑफ द फाइट वाज टक्कर की फाइट जिसे कहते हैं लेकिन टुवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द सेकंड राउंड आप बहुत हावी हुए स्पेशली आपके जो किक्स थे आपके लेग्स बहुत स्ट्रांग थे थैंक्स अ लॉट थैंक्स अ लॉट To be very actual, it's not exactly me. It's the crowd which was cheering me up. So, guys, I'm back after a one-year gap in the fights, and uh, uh, you know, from my side, it's a deep, deep regard from you to you guys that you guys cheered me up. Uh, apart from that, I just want to make a small announcement. Can I? Please. Uh, see, lightweight belt, <laughs> guys. Lightweight belt, that's mine. Rajinder Singh Meena, you've been running away from a very good number of time. I want you in the cage with me one on one. That's five minutes, five round, guys. It ain't gonna get over in one round. We're gonna go, keep on fighting for 25 minutes non-stop. That's a that's a promise from my side.
Whoa, the challenge by Ricky Sahani. Let's hear it for the hot from Delhi. <laughs> Open challenge in the Nadia. Let's go now to Supri. Thank you very much, Ricky. Well, that fight went straight to the ground from the word go, at least for the uh, first round. It remained on the ground. Second round, they were back up on their feet. And third round, they, well, Dean Mohammed just backed out. So I want to ask you, Dan, is that normal? Is that normal for a fighter to say, I don't want to continue? Well, it's, uh, it's a term when, uh, when a fighter is unable to answer the round or unable to answer the bell. Uh, that, that usually means that either the fighter is hurt and he cannot continue, uh, resulting from blows from the previous round, or if he, if his stamina is absolutely finished and he just cannot continue. So it's it's a it's a very normal happening in MMA. And uh, tonight, Ricky was the cardio machine and was able to overpower Dean Muhammad from Afghanistan. Well, I I do hope that Ricky realizes that Dean Muhammad has eight brothers. One of them being Baz Muhammad, who has fight kar chuke hai. So he'll definitely be back. One of them will be back for revenge. I'm I'm hoping. Well, I'm I'm sure that. Uh, all the uh, Afghanistan fighters are definitely making their way to Pearl's F SFL to come and show their talent. Baz was successful the last time. His brother wasn't this time. Well, I'm sure they're, yeah, I agree with you. But Ricky's waiting, right? Yes, he is Bring here. Bring it on. <laughs> Bring it on, people. Do you think that because uh, Ricky is a fitness instructor, his form and stamina is also coming from and that's, that's why he could uh, last the, the way he did? Ricky ka aaj ka fight performance kaafi acha tha unka jo overall game tha striking grappling jiu jitsu log submissions sab kuch bahut hi behtareen the aur unka stamina end tak kaafi acha tha as compared to Dean Muhammad so yahan par wo kaafi evident tha ki unki jo training hai fitness trainer ki aur se wo kaafi achhi thi aur kaafi kaam aayi is fight mein aur abhi aage baki hai aaj ka co main event and the main event we're going to take a short break now but break ke baad the ladies take to the ozone it's going to be Manjeet versus Mona isliye aapka zaruri hai yahan hona stay tuned
Welcome back. It's time for girl power here at Pearl's SFL. The next bout has Manjeet versus Mona in the women's flyweight division. Dan, uh, this is the battle of the M's, or this is our version of the M and M, as I'd like to call it. Now, uh, Manjeet is really your baby here. She started here. She debuted here. Or Abhi, you, you feel that she's evolved as a pro MMA fighter to take on an international fighter this time? Well, do you know that uh, Manjeet once had a title called the Jansi Ki Rani? Oh yeah, she got a bravery award. Uh, uh, an award because of her, her excellence in sportsmanship. Uh, Manjeet is a, a fighter with a boxing background and she's made a beautiful transition to mixed martial arts. And uh, one of the main factors in that transition was the reality show of SFL Challengers. And over SFL Challengers, we've seen her evolve as a fighter. And now she is finally here in the Ozone, ready to take on her first international opponent. And uh, I hope I'm not saying too much by mentioning that no one knows Manjeet better than Ritika. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why is that, I wonder? Well, Ritika, up uh, Manjeet ke saath so, uh, what is your take on that? Do you think they ready for international opponent? Ke liye? Manjeet Kolegar is a very good friend. We are also training partners. And they are very good in their punches. And here they are the opponent of Mona. I think they have a very tough competition. Hai, Manjeet hands, oh, ki padde, so, because Manjeet's hands are like a stone. I swear. So, here they are going to see that they are going to be very interesting fight kar diye, aaj well, our fighters will be active in the Ozone. We'd love for you to be active on Twitter. Send us your comments um, uh, on at the Fight League. We'll be waiting for them. For now, it's the ladies who get fighting. And no, it's not us. Not yet anyway. Let's go straight to the Ozone. Over to Keith. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the co-main event of the evening. Pearl's SFL 15 May. Put your hands together. From the land of mummies, yeh hai aapki big daddy, Mona Monir Muhammad. All the way from Egypt, making her way for Pearl's SFL 15, is Mona Munir Mohammed. She reaches the Mountain Dew fighter prep point. Dar ke aage jeet hai. Mera naam Mona Munir hai. Mera MMA record hai ek win, ek lose. मेरा किकबॉक्सिंग रिकॉर्ड है पांच विन मेरे जिम का नाम है इजिप्शियन टॉप टीम मैं काइरो सिटी में पैदा हुई हूँ मैं ये फाइट जीतना चाहती हूँ और एसएफएल बेल्ट भी मैं बहुत शांत लड़की हूँ मैं अपने ओपोनेंट को बहुत रिस्पेक्ट करती हूँ लेकिन केज में मैं बहुत एग्रेसिव हूँ मोना Danny, tell me something. What should we expect from Mona here tonight? Well, Mona actually took this fight on uh, short notice. Uh, there was another fighter who had to be replaced because uh, she was uh, injured. Uh, Mona is was the was the next best option in in this category because she has a very good experience in wushu and kickboxing, and has also been training in jujitsu uh, and and wrestling back at her gym in Cairo. Well, <clears throat> she really would need to put all of those arts to use. She paid her respects to the Ozone. Mona Mone, ladies and gentlemen. And now I want to listen to you all the voices of your voices, especially Amchi Mumbai's girl, here is Jhansi Kirani, Manjeet Kholaka! Mumbai's favorite girl. One would even call her the prodigy of the SFL Challengers camp. The undefeated Manjit Kolekar as she makes her way to the Mountain Dew Fighter prep point. Dar ke aage jeet hai. Manjit Kolekar is a born fighter. 
बचपन से मुझे मारा मारी का बहुत शौक था मतलब और किसी को पीटना और खुद भी मार खाना लड़ना ही मंजीत की जिंदगी है ट्वेल्थ का एग्जाम छोड़ दिया क्योंकि मेरा नेशनल था तो मुझे वो इम्पोर्टेंट लगा तो मैंने मैच पे ध्यान दिया बॉक्सिंग छोड़कर मंजीत ने मिक्स मार्शल आर्ट्स शुरू किया और देखते ही देखते छा गई हमेशा सब लोग ने मुझे सपोर्ट किया खेलने के लिए लेकिन सबसे ज़्यादा सपोर्ट मेरे पापा करते हैं और उन्होंने मुझे फोर्स किया कि ये गेम खेलो अच्छा लेकिन मंजीत के लिए एस स्टार बनने तक का ये रास्ता आसान नहीं था हमारे घर में मेरा मिसेस है थोड़ा वो बीमार रहती थी उसके इसमें बहुत सा फाइनेंशियल प्रॉब्लम हमारा था फिर भी हम लोग थोड़ा एडजस्ट किए और इसके ऊपर थोड़ा ध्यान दिया उन्होंने हमेशा मुझे जो जो मैंने मांगा वो मुझे दिया मंजीत के सामने है इजिप्ट की मोना मुनीर मुकाबला मुश्किल है लेकिन हार शब्द मंजीत की डिक्शनरी में नहीं मेरे को नहीं लगता की कभी वो हरेगी और इंडिया में तो क्या वर्ल्ड में वो नाम कमाई को यही बोलना चाहती हूँ कि मैं बोलूंगी नहीं कि मैं मारूंगी मैं करके दिखाऊंगी मंजीत को लेकर कैटेगरी में ब्लू कॉर्नर में है मेरे साथ किक बॉक्सिंग के एक्सपर्ट उनका वजन 56.7 किलोग्राम्स कायरो इजिप्ट से मोना मोनीर मोहम्मद और रेड कॉर्नर में हमारी फेवरेट उनका स्टाइल बॉक्सिंग उनका वेट 56.5 किलोग्राम्स आम जी मुंबई से मंजीत खोलेकर रेफरी आज के इस स्पेशल फाइट में है दियन टेस्मिच दियन टेस्मिच योर रेफरी फॉर द फीमेल फ्लाई वेट को मेन इवेंट ऑफ द इवनिंग और एज कीथ कॉलिन टेस्मिच वेल ही इज द रेफरी बोथ फाइटर्स टच ग्लव्स I'm excited man, for this fight Arjun <laughs> man what an ovation did Manjeet That's, get huh what That's, a reception and an ovation That's time Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's fight. The Manjit girls in the red. The girls of Pearl Super Fight League. Mona in the blue. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Round number one. Manjit looks confident. Her hands low. Nice low kick landed by Mona. Oh, nice straight left hand by oh. and a solid punch by Manjit. <laughs> Landed a big oh right left right left right left wow oh she attempted a front kick there Mona takes this fight down to the mat immediately does not want to stand with And Manjit Mona, anymore Manji takes the top position reverses it straight to the mount this is a bad position because Manji is known for her ground and pound. Uh, it almost seemed that Mona was going to get knocked out in the first 10 uh, first 15 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I saw that exchange and but I the moment she decided like... to take the fight to the ground, it uh, continued a little bit more. Yeah, I, I saw the way like Mona grimace. In fact, Mona has already got some redness above her right eye. For some reason, Arjun, I don't see Manjeet woken up as yet. She <laughs> needs to wake up because once she wakes up, she she's a force to reckon with. Danny, if that was not waking up, I don't know what was. No, no, she hasn't woken up she as yet. She landed a Excellent. ten punch combo, but you know what? Props to Mona. She stood there and decided to take it to the ground. She didn't want any more of that striking. Into side control right now is Manjit. Manjit going in for the, the full mount, mount once again. Again, wow. She has been working on a ground game, hasn't she, Dan? Well, Manjit has been. Uh, she she hasn't given up. She's been training ever since her last fight. She's been in the camp. She's been working hard, staying in the hostel with all the other fighters, and getting her game better and better. Posture up and landing some blows is Manjit Kolekar. And, and one of the interesting things is Manjit is always training with all the guys. <laughs> so, so she's she's definitely training with stronger opponents. Oh, definitely. And but you can see Mona trying to buck her hips, try and get out of that position. But Manjit is just raining down. Oh, big, big left hand there a second ago. 
That landed clean. Well, Bona is in trouble. Is watching very carefully. She needs stop, to stop, oh, stop, stop. Oh. As oh. Manjeet oh. wins. TKO, ground and pound. Ladies and gentlemen, you Manjit lost your ten rupees, Arjun. Has done she it. didn't use the front <laughs> kick. She did not use the front kick, but she used some vicious ground and pound, which forced Dian Tesic to step in and call an end to this fight in round number one. India defeats Egypt tonight India defeats Egypt in the female tonight. flyweight category. Look at the replay. Look at that first left hook which landed and that straight left hand which landed clean. This was after she had reversed the position in, in on the ground, got the mount and started raining down some heavy blows. You can see that. Most of them were partially blocked, but I think the referee had seen enough. Well, Mona tried to use some sort of a Wing Chun Kung Fu block <laughs> down there on the ground. It didn't work. It didn't because work indeed. Manjeet landed those machine gun shots one after the a other. A great performance and another victory for Mumbai's own Manjeet Kolekar. Okay, we go to the Twitter right now. At Tenam22 saying, watching Indian MMA for the first time, didn't expect it to be that. From the MMA talent India, hashtag SFL15. Thank you, our fans. Tweet your views with at SFL15. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner and the new title winner, Manjeet Kolekar by TKO, ground and pound, in the first round in 2 minutes and 19 seconds. Technical knockout, Manjeet ka. Okay, Manjeet, first of all, show dance step that you were doing after winning. Oh, yeah! बहुत अच्छा प्रदर्शन रहा आपका बहुत स्ट्रॉन्ग फाइटर है आपके पंचेस आपका ग्राउंड कंट्रोल बहुत इम्प्रेस हुए हैं सब लोग यहाँ पे इसके बाद आप क्या करना चाहेंगे क्योंकि आप बहुत जीत चुके हैं अब यहाँ पे नाउ यू वांट टू टेक समबडी एल्स ऑन आपके कोई टारगेट है अभी तो कुछ टारगेट नहीं है लेकिन जो भी आए मैं हैंडल कर लूँगी और मैं कहीं गई नहीं हूँ मैं हूँ यहाँ पर कुछ लोग मुझे भूल रहे हैं लेकिन मैं हूँ यहाँ पर अभी भी प्रूव करने के लिए वह थोड़ा सा फिर से अपना स्टेप दिखाइए मैं भी कसात करूँगा कम ऑन yeah, let's go. This is our winner. Over to Supreet. Well, these ladies were no delicate darlings. And Manjeet and a ground and pound is always famous. Aapko kya lagta hai? Manjeet ne kaha tha ki wo jo jawab hai, wo baato se nahi, balki action se dengi. Kahiyo ne kaha tha ki shayad ye overconfidence hai. What did you think? Kar dikhaya, right? Mere saab se overconfidence bilkul bhi nahi hai. Jo unhone kaha, wo bilkul sahi tha. वो उनका जवाब एक्शन से देगी जो उन्होंने आज किया है ग्राउंड एंड पाउंड ग्राउंड कंट्रोल बहुत अच्छा था और ये फाइट जीत चुकी हैं आज दोबारा अनडिफीटेड मंजीत को लेकर यहाँ पर वेल डैन सच जॉय टू सी हर रीच दिस स्टेज टुनाइट शी स्ट्रेंड अंडर एलन फर्नांडेस रोल मॉडल उनकी सानिया रह चुकी हैं व well, I was actually worried for uh, Manjeet at, at the first uh, 30 seconds when uh, Mona shot in and took her down. But uh, Manjeet showed her calm, her experience, and she was able to reverse her. I'm very proud of her, and uh, I want to congratulate her for her first international win. But uh, kudos to Mona as well for taking this fight on short notice. Everyone who steps into the Ozone is a warrior, and we absolutely respect and salute all the Pearls SFL fighters who compete here tonight. Kudos to the ladies, and now it's time for the big fight, the belt fight, the main event. But right after this break, uske baad hoga the main event of tonight, which is Michael Page versus Ramdan Muhammad. You've got to stay tuned for this one. It's big. Woo!
back to the last fight, the main event tonight. And like I mentioned, this is the big ticket belt fight. The excitement goes ahead. Well, it's the return of the Venom Page. Well, Dan, Michael is not new to this format. He uh, he has been here at Pearl SFL before. So, um, what do you think now would be a new strategy that he brings in? Well, you know, Supreet, uh, first of all, I want to, you know, explain what the what the Super Fight League is doing for all of these fighters. Uh, the, the Pearls SFL has actually set up a, a camp to support and train and build up these fighters, give them experience at contenders and finally put them on this big stage. And I want to personally, I want to go ahead and thank uh, the, the Pearls group for coming, coming out and supporting the Super Fight League as our title sponsor. And uh, together, I think we're, we're going to make some crazy, crazy things happen for mixed martial arts. The sport of mixed martial arts is going to explode in India. And I think that that's already started tonight. And yes, as, as you just asked, Michael Venom Page is one of those fighters who comes in with, with so many different tools, you just don't know what to expect. So will his unorthodox style of fighting actually win and bring him into another victory? Or will the aggressive farmer boy, Ramdan, give a surprise knockout to MVP? All right, uh, Ritika. Michael Page could jeet ne ki aadat hai, ye sab ko bata hai. Aur dousri taraf agar hum Ramadan Mohammed ki baat kare, he said that he wants to just have a simple plain knockout right away. So aapka vote kis taraf jata hai? The venomous Mr. Page or the farmer boy? Mainne in se baat kari thi abhi backstage, Ramadan se, wo keh rahe thai ki wo first round ne fight khatam kar denge, bilkul tord taard ke. Lekin Michael Page jo hai, unki jo style hai, wo matlab bilkul unexpected hai, kuch bhi ho sakta hai. So, here the best will be, inshallah, will win. Well, Ramdan Mohammed ka manna hai that when he fights, he feels like a gladiator. But the question is, does he fight like one too? We'll find out soon. You know what to do. This is the main event, the last event of this evening. Ladies and gentlemen, keep tweeting. It's at the Fight League. For now, time for the main event. Over to Keith in the Ozone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to everyone. In Pearl's SFL World Title, the middleweight category. First, put your hands together and show some love. From Egypt, the farmer, Ramdan Mohammed. Ramdan Mohammed. Making his way from Egypt here for Pearl's SFL 15 in our main event of the evening. Ramdan at the Mountain Dew Fighter Prep Point. Darke Age Jeet Hai. Egypt Mira MMA record one win or zero loss hai. Ye MMA fight mere liye bahut khas hai. Inshallah main jeetunga. Michael main tumhe knock out karne aaya hu. Apni style badal lo. Ye mere samne bekar hai. Ramdan Mohammed Danny, tell me, this guy is coming in here, he's making his debut and this call him the farmer. I mean, apart from the fact that he's actually a farmer, <laughs> he brings a couple of things to the table that we might not have seen yet here before. Well, well, we all know that uh, anyone who's into farming is definitely a hard worker. So tonight, will the farmer boy's hard work pay off? Beat the city kid? <laughs> well, yes, it, it's, it's quite possible. It's this is mixed martial arts and we all know that anything, anything can happen. Ladies and gentlemen, repeat this after me. Anything can happen. Ramdan pays his respects. Arjun, I, I want to thank all to of uh, our uh, viewers <laughs> on, on Star Sports and uh, YouTube and especially all of those tweeting tonight at uh, the Fight League. And this title bout me, unke saamne khare utrenge ozone me, UK ke unka style hai salsa dancing, unka passion MMA, Michael the Vermin Page. Michael. 
Michael Wedham Page makes his way back to India for Pearl's SFL 15 in our main event tonight. Michael Page at the Mountain Dew Fighter Prep Point. Dar ke aage jeet hai for his final preparations. My name is Michael Page from England, London. Uh, I started at the age of three. My dad was my instructor. My mum used to do martial arts as well. So it's kind of a family thing. I want to dedicate it to both my parents. Super Fight League. Very important for me because it's going to help establish me as a fighter and uh, my reputation. But Nahe Dulab Nahe. That was funny actually, trying to see Michael speak Hindi. I'm sure he'll get better at it as time goes on, but for now, he is in our main event of the evening against Ramdan Mohammed. Michael comes in with an undefeated record, especially here in the SFL. He defeated his last opponent was Haytham Tantavi, who he defeated in spectacular fashion. We really look forward to seeing what Michael brings into the cage here tonight as he makes his way to the Ozone. Michael Benham Page, ladies and gentlemen. Or shuru karte hai, the main event of the evening. And in the blue corner, Unka style hai kickboxing. Ek win. Or unka height 6 feet 1 inches. Vasan 80 kilogram. Egypt K. Ramdan Mohammed. <laughs> or Lal Connor me. Unka style MMA. Three wins. Abitak undefeated. Chef for 2 inch K. 80 kilogram count kabazan all the way from the UK put your hands together for Michael the Venom Page Aur aapke referee hai match ke liye Ryan Thorp Your referee for our main event of the evening is Ryan Thorp bringing the fighters together Oh, look at this. I love this part where Michael Venom Page raises the bar. <laughs> Ramdan looking at him with a stare down that can cut glass. MVP is the tallest wait for this one. welterweight <laughs> at Pearl Super Fight League. Well, tonight he's fighting at middleweight against Ramdan. So I can't wait. Yeah, both these fighters have taken it at uh, middleweight. Here we go. No touch of the gloves by Ramdan. Michael looking loose. Oh! Beautiful. This is this is amazing. It's watching this guy is like, it's is incredible. It's like a treat. It's, you don't know what's coming. He's shaking his hands. Ramdan trying to get at him. Swings the and battle misses. of the smiles. <laughs> Ramdan has got his guard oh. up. And he well, oh, well, he well. landed one. Wow. He actually hit Michael there. Both fighters grappling with each other. Ladies and gentlemen, this is actually the longest fight, I would say, yeah. of, of MVPs in a, in a long, long time. Oh, look at that. Michael smiles back at him once again. I predict there's going to be a kick now, nice any jab. moment. <laughs> Lands a nice jab, another jab. Two quick swing jacks, both fight. Oh, look at that, showboating. Michael Wenham Page. Uh, Ramdan, Ramdan is almost <laughs> going in for, for, his, uh, for, for MVP's trap. No, he is for oh beautiful. Look at look at the way he snaps up that. Oh, <laughs> look at this kid, Danny. Nothing, nothing but pure talent. And well, skill. Ramdan has his hands up. He's doing everything right at this point. Yeah, what do you do against someone like him? Who points? He puts his chin out in front of you, and you still miss. Well, it looks like uh, looks like MVP has already done some damage to Ramdan. It looks like he's, he's broken his nose. Up. Oh, he's, yeah, he's got a, he's got some blood coming out of his nose. Ramdan is just swinging oh. at air right now, but he's up to him. Well, he, sh he should actually try and play he's, he's smart. Trying really hard. He, he shouldn't be wasting his energy because he's doing everything right until now. 
he shouldn't be chasing after him. He should try to cut Michael off, but that is easier said than done, ladies and gentlemen. MVP, uh, I would call him one down. of the smartest oh! fighters in MMA. Kick to the body. His spinning that back got kick. his attention. Oh, and a beautiful spin spinning kick. head kick. And he gets out of the way with such simplicity. This man is breaking all the rules in MMA. A beautiful spinning down. kick. Oh, it, this is a treat to watch him here at Pearl's. Well, SFL I, we're actually going to run out of names for MVP. <laughs> yeah. Karate Kid. Karate Kid, Kung Fu Boy, The Waiter. I don't know. Look at this. Nice scramble there. Ramdan trying his best to close the distance. Well, we've actually completed the halfway point of the first round. We have crossed that. And Ramdan, well, what will MVP do here? <laughs> will he go down? Will MVP go down? Uh, and he does go down. Underhooks, body lock straight into half guard. For the first time at Pearl's SFL, think, yeah, I, for the first the time at Pearl's, at Pearl's SFL, SFL that we're seeing MVP going to the ground. Actually, that is, I've never seen him go to the, And straight into the mount. Full mount. Oops. Looking for some elbows is Michael Page. This, this, is, this is the point that I actually hate those nasty elbows. Oh, yeah. I know everyone oh, yeah. hates me for saying it, they, but they, I hate those nasty I elbows. I think they're coming down. You can see them. Ramdan is already cut but Ramdan is moving places. properly. He's doing everything right, and, and, and I, I absolutely have oh, respect dear. for him. He's he doing everything right, trying to move in the opposite direction. He cannot allow Michael to Trying to stay to away up. from those elbows. Oh, no. He cannot let Michael posture up. There we go. Oh, and he's actually oh. not bad at all. Not bad at all, but he's still like Blue is, Oh, hammer fist by MVP. Oh, oh, oh that seemed to hurt him. He is bloodied up that badly. Is, that, is that is the end. That is the end. Up, up, up. Page wins by rear naked joke. MVP wins by one. pure awesomeness, look my friend. Look at that look he okay. gave Ramdan. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Incredible yeah. performance by the master. MVP. How impressive was that, Danny? An excellent win by MVP. We go to the highlights. You look at this. He landed at will. He was evasive. Those jabs were beautiful. He busted him up. That turning side kick to the body hurt him. He looked for a spinning back kick. A bit of showboating there. He missed. He got the mount and he landed some heavy points. Look at that knee brush past his face. He landed those blows, got his back, and he sank in the rear naked choke. Looking at him all the while while he stood up, telling his opponent that he is the winner. Well, as, as I said, it was uh, pure awesomeness. A win, a win awesomeness. by pure awesomeness. That's the best way I can describe it. All right, we get some new tweets by at DX Prashant, Star Sports India. Thanks for this awesome show. Thank <laughs> you. Hashtag SFL15 has a fighters boot camp where fighters spend three days together before a fight where they bond, discuss strategies, etc. Hashtag fact. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I have the winner. It is by submission, rear neck choke in the first round in three minutes and 48 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, Michael Page. What a fight, Michael. What a fight, indeed. Uh, you thoroughly dominated everything. You've got a very different style. You almost dance around. Uh, you don't let anyone settle in. Is that the way you, you, you always fight? Yeah, like I said, I was in um, freestyle kickboxing, which is like point scoring, so you're in and out all the time. And that's been my style for like 20 years. So it's not something I'm planning to change. I'll never change. This is me. I'm going to be winning fights like this all the time. Well, very well done today. and. Uh, might we also say that uh, you're extremely popular here in Mumbai. Everyone seems to love your style. So is there something that you've learned in Hindi that you would like to say to everyone? You know what? I wish I did. I'm going to come back more. I'm going to be learning just for you guys. But right now, the one and only MVP is here.
SFL, the winner for today in the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, give it for Michael the Venom Page. All right, it's over to you, Sabrit. Had a lot of fun here. What a fantastic fight that was. It had venom written all over it. We saw a bit of blood, so I think it's safe to say that it was a bloody good fight, wasn't it, Dan? That, that was uh, one of the most exciting fights uh, of tonight. A in a night that we've had so many stoppages, I think this one was one of, uh, I would say, MVP won by pure awesomeness. Speed and timing is what Michael was fo focusing on. So you, would you say that's key ingredients to any fight, really? Well, uh, I actually have a lot of respect for Ramdan after uh, this bout because he actually was able to try and take MVP into deep waters. Well, what he was trying to do was exercise some patience mm -hmm. and try and get MVP onto the ground. But uh, fortunately for him, MVP was ready on the ground as well. He had those elbows, he, he was ready to finish the fight, and finally, the rear naked choke ended that bout for Ramdan. Well, although a heavy-handed striker, Ritika Ramdan could not really get the, the, the knockout that he was looking for. And I know that you were very excited. I was looking at you commentating uh, chair set up almost at the edge. I was about to call off. I was like, control girl, control. So here is your excitement. Tell us how you're feeling now. This fight was very exciting because it was such a beautiful striking. I mean, there was nothing here. There was no left jab, no right punches. And in the end, ground and pound, like he was pulled, he was pulled, choked and tapped out. So this was very exciting, I couldn't control it, I was almost out of the chair. I swear. I saw that. Well, that was clearly, all in all, a superb Friday fight night experience. But what do we expect from Pearl's SFL 16? We'll tell you after this break.
Queen and we've got you to thank as well. Because people, we are number two on Twitter in India. So thank you for all your tweets. How about that, eh? What a Friday fight night, Supreet. I, th I think that was one of the best Friday fight nights at Pearl's SFL. Excellent stoppages, excellent knockouts, excellent submissions. I think everyone in the audience had their money's worth tonight. Well, abhi, itni fabulous night ki hai, to ye janna to banta hai that what do we expect from the next Friday fight night, which is Pearl's SFL 16. Another stacked fight card at Pearl's SFL 16. We have uh, two of the top fighters in the lightweights. We have Sasha, Sasha Sharma, who's taking on uh, Marco. <laughs> The whole world is descending at the Pulse Fight League to fight and prove who's the best. Well, we'll also have the big main event. Which one would that be? The big main event would be Sasha Sharma taking on Mark Gomez from Spain. And uh, obviously, for now, we don't want to talk much about it because we want your viewers to come back next Friday fight night and experience this with us. And, and I, would, I would urge as many as people who can come and watch the fights live. The, the, uh, the, uh, the experience here is absolutely electrifying. And it's another experience to be cage side watching these warriors go at it. Well, we can't watch for show. It's time uh, for now.